Understanding, Stuffed to the Brim, A Guide to English Idioms. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a colorful phrase that you might have heard in conversations, stuffed to the brim. Whether you're a beginner or advancing in English, understanding such idioms can add flair to your speaking and writing. So, let's get into the details and find out what it means to be stuffed to the brim. The phrase, stuffed to the brim, is a vivid idiom used to describe something that is filled to its utmost capacity, leaving no room for more. The word, stuffed, implies being filled tightly, while, brim, refers to the very top edge of a container. Together, they create an image of something so full that it cannot possibly hold another drop or piece. This phrase can be used literally, like describing a suitcase packed with clothes, or metaphorically, such as feeling full after a big meal. While the exact origin of stuffed to the brim is not clear, it's a phrase that draws on imagery we can all relate to. The idiom is commonly used in everyday English, found in various contexts from casual conversations to written literature. It's a way to emphasize the extreme level of fullness, whether talking about physical objects or abstract concepts like schedules or emotions. To better understand how to use stuffed to the brim, let's look at some examples. After the holiday sale, the store's shelves were stuffed to the brim with goods. I can't eat another bite. I'm stuffed to the brim. Her schedule is stuffed to the brim. She doesn't have time for another project. These sentences show the versatility of the phrase, highlighting its effectiveness in conveying a sense of extreme fullness or saturation. Using idioms can make your English sound more natural and expressive. Here are some tips for incorporating stuffed to the brim and other idioms into your language use. Understand the context. Idioms often have meanings that are not literal. Make sure you know the idiom's meaning and usage before trying to use it. Practice with examples. Try creating your own sentences or rewriting sentences to include idioms. This practice can help you remember them better. Listen and read actively. Pay attention to idioms when listening to English speakers or reading English texts. Context can provide clues to meaning and usage. And that's a wrap on Stuffed to the Brim. We hope this video has enriched your understanding of English idioms and inspired you to start using them in your conversations. Remember, learning idioms is not just about memorizing. It's about bringing color and depth to your communication. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to experiment with new phrases you encounter. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.